Okay, Silk Cradle. And the tarot cards are... Rolling into an enemy will damage them. Movement speed increased by 1.25 times. Relics charged 1.25 times as fast. And 10% chance for a critical hit. So roll into enemies. Five becomes... Becomes... Nothing. Nothing at all. The duty I owe to my brethren cannot be shirked. My Templar waits. Aha. Uh -huh. Indeed, indeed. What weapons are we getting? Zealous Gauntlet. And Flame Shot. Okay, well, Gauntlets are fine, because they're low range, but they are quick. Also, the uh, rolling into enemies thing is quite nice, because it means that whenever I panic and decide I need to get out of here, roll into it. I mean, it's obviously not going to be any significant amount of damage, but it is better than nothing. And it's an action that I'm going to do anyway. Okay, that's the first room. Hello. And of course, the other thing is, when it comes to using the gauntlets, is that you can do the three-hit combo, but again, if I panic and I'm like, oh, I can't do the three-hit combo, I can try and just mash the roll button to get out of there, and it'll still do some damage anyway. A downside of rolling into the enemies to do damage is that it will cause extra lag because obviously it's registering a hit. And if I roll through multiple, then it can cause a little bit of slowdown. Okay. Alright, that was a dead end room. That's fine by me. I will say, I think I'm sitting pretty at quite a few followers for this run, so if I do die and need to be resurrected, that should be fine. And I should have good quality followers as well to resurrect from. Yeah, rolling into an enemy doesn't stagger them, but it is better than nothing. It's about the equivalent of half a hit on the gauntlet, honestly. And that's another thing is, doing the roll is nice to just like a, be a finishing hit on the enemies. When they get left with a slither of health, it's like, oh, I just need to do something, and the roll is enough. Alright, that's a room to skip for. Let's go into this room first. The damage on the dodge roll adds up, actually. Dead end room? Yeah. Mm 
Okay, we have coins. Alright, where do we want to go? There's shop for armor, shop for relics. But there's also this way, which is a fight, but then Fornius. And I can't see what's beyond it, though. Because if I can skip fights... Yeah, let's do this. Shop for... well, armor. Shop for relic, and then try and avoid a fight after that one, but I can't scroll to see the rest of the. Path. Oh, it's. yeah, it's cosmetic. Okay, well. It's kind of a dead floor. But. I'm fine with dead floors, because it means I can't take damage anymore. And I got full health from this one, so. yeah. Uh, yeah, so. Shop for relic? Because generally, in a roguelike, you'd want to be like, I want to do every single floor and I want to get as powerful as I can. But here, I've already got the tarot cards, so I'm just looking for specific things. Turn a random enemy into a critter. Sure. Alright. Uh, let's see, do I get further? Mm, no. It doesn't seem like I get further from doing this. Just morsel meat. Yeah. Alright. Uh, we'll do the mystery room. Yes. The lingering presence of Shimura can be felt. Enemy projectiles has increased in speed. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> but I suppose that's better than having to fight through a room, because now I know that the enemy projectile speed has increased. Steal the devotion. Yeah, no instant teleport to the boss in this one. Oh, come on. I didn't realize using the relic would just freeze me in place. Oh, yeah, okay. So the increased enemy projectile speed means it's increased the speed of it coming out as well. into that one. Ooh, don't roll into the bomb. Okay. Alright. <laughs> A, a nice easy room. Uh, let's go this way. Ah, okay. Uh, well, I guess I just want better gauntlets, so... Yeah, just... If I can't swap the type of weapon I'm using, just having a better version of them is... Uh, okay. Alright, let's go down first. Yeah, I don't like the fact that it locks me in place after using the relic. Follow a sacrifice thing, won't it? I envy you not. Well, you may yet kill me. Still, I would not trade places. It is time to draw this ugly business to a close. He waits at the point of the sharpened blade, the fate that cannot be outrun. He waits in the eye of the raging storm and the end of the long day done. Oh no, it's just a normal fight. Room. Ooh, no, I tried to roll through the projectiles. 
Ah, try that again. So so partially hitting with the gauntlet locks you in and you can't dodge roll very quickly afterwards. Okay, I guess I'll take the diseased heart. Alright, uh let's go up first. Assuming that going left is like the intended path. Let's go up first and see if we can recover some of those hearts back. Also, ironically enough, I think I've noticed there are more enemies with projectiles now that I've got increased projectile speed. Ooh, well, no hearts, just lost half a heart. Okay, yeah, I'll take that. Uh, yeah, I'm close to dying. And dying before the boss ain't great. No, I'm stuck. Okay, yeah. I, I I knew as soon as I rolled, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get hit by the the rocks blocking me. Okay, so one heart, one heart, four hearts, two hearts, two hearts, one heart, one heart, two hearts, one heart, four hearts, four hearts. Four hearts. Well, wow, okay. Uh, I guess we'll go with Majul or Breenma. Let's go with Breenma. I would have liked that to have been in the boss room. I suppose it's to be expected with Silk Cradle being like a, a final difficult area is you get less of a chance to avoid stuff. So, uh, Mayhem's Cannon or Vampiric Blunderbuss? Well, I guess I'm just doing Mayhem's Cannon because the Vampiric stuff doesn't matter now. But yeah, now I can stay far away, so. <sighs> okay, make it through with only four hearts. I guess we'll try and take the boss fight slow. Breenma has reached old age. Huh? I thought I just sacrificed him. Did I end up sacrificing Majul instead? In we go. He of havoc, he of blight, she of hunger, they of might. Five becomes four, becomes three, becomes two, becomes one, becomes nothing. It's the spider Shimura. everywhere. Okay. Oh, that's what the Mayhem Cannon does. It gives me an extra shot. Or at least it seems like it. Yeah. Okay. 
hit. Avoid. Wow, the range on the wound was quite small. Just avoid. Go out. Yeah, you are. Oh, now she's doing bullet health stuff. Couple more shots should do. There we go. All right. Heart of a heretic. Tons of gold. A Shimura trophy. Mm -hmm. Spider silk wall. That's just a decoration. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, successful run in the end. Can't complain. Heretics defeated. Cleanse the non-believers. And we got a bonus because we defeated Bishop. Shamura was weak, not wise. Their vision was too small to contain the multitudes of one such as I. The time has come to free me. You shall have the honor of returning the red crown to its true bearer. I admit, you have worn it almost as well as I could have myself. You sacrificed one follower to strengthen the cult, to strengthen us. Your appetite for death is something I can admire, Vessel, but the crown is mine and none, none are worthy, none other than I. You shall lay down your life and return to me what is mine. After millennia, all may bask in my glory once more. But it cannot be done here, the final gate awaits. Hurry now, the time is at hand. Well, I was going to say that that is a good place to call the stream for today. Lamb, once slaughtered the name of the captive god, ponder this. Whose name does thou slaughter in now? Mine. My own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick check to see what the final gate entails. And if it turns out it's going to be another crusade another run then yeah obviously we will we'll call that for another time oh everyone's here hello huh oh yeah it's the heart of the heretic thing okay Ta -da! everyone's happy because it came back and we've spied against the victory of the bishop yeah collect divine inspiration I have no idea what to even use it on, honestly. Um, leader tent? What does leader tent do? Sure, why not? It's not optimal, but I like the idea of having a leader tent for me. Um, but yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and use the Heart of the Heretic. Take the items. So, up. Oh. Yeah, sermon. Oh, hello. Coming from somewhere outside the walls of our dimension, Reaper. So we'll go and do the heart of a heretic thing. So let's go. Loyalty. So crown. So what does this give me? Uh, eat a heart, eat a meal to receive a heart that will depend on what is eaten. Okay, well that's fine. It could be like, get three spirit hearts or something. New crown ability, eat a meal to receive a blue heart. Okay. Uh, 
And yeah, we'll, we'll save off on doing any rituals because I don't know if they carry over when I save the game and close it. But yeah. We'll do this just because I can make lots of stuff. Party meat broth. Cleanliness, I guess I'll do that before I go, just in case. But it might actually be because they're pooping instantly. No, it seems like it's here. Ooh, golden fertilizer gives us coins. Poop instantly. Poop instantly. Alright, so. Let's go and have a check to see the final door. Save just in case. So it has saved. Free the one who waits. Okay. But what does that actually mean? Does it mean just mean do a boss fight? Doesn't it say generating rooms? No, it is placing rooms. Okay, well. Yeah, I think. Uh, it's hard to tell how many rooms there are. It says three. Oh, I need 20 followers anyway. Oh, well. Damn. <laughs> sure. Okay. Well. All right. I can't do it. So that solves that problem, I guess. So yeah, that will. Well, that's going to take up a few runs, actually. Twenty followers. Considering that going on a run means that followers can die of old age and get sacrificed and all sorts. Yeah, that's going to take some. Um, that's going to take some doing. So. What I will do is I will prepare for next time and say, yep, I'm going to get 20 followers in my off time. Uh, what I'll also do is I'll also do resource grinding for gold and lumber and stone and whatever else it needs. Uh, chances are that will just be naturally done through trying to get followers anyway. But yeah, that's uh, 20 followers, jeez, that's a lot. Oh, oh, this is the reindoctrination stone, okay. What does that actually mean? Right, let's try it on... Hmm. What does reindoctrination do? Right, I'll try it. On, let's try it on Majul. Okay. Oh, it just means change their look. Oh. Wow. Okay. Right, so. Yeah, Sin is entirely cosmetic. There is no need to do it. For anything other than changing the looks of things. Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. Um, so yeah. So, uh, in the meantime, I obviously need to get these 20 followers to try and free the one who waits. But I will also go ahead and do things like, like I said, grinding for materials, resources, uh, things like finding uh, the stuff for the mushroom sculpture. I'll try and figure out what the relic from Kudai's clue is. But actually, other than that, there aren't any other quests to do. Oh, do the Eye of the Witness. I haven't done the Eye of the Witness. Right, let's go and do that. Let's go and do that. It just does it uh, stops being shown on the screen. So I was like, yeah, I totally forgot about it. But no, we need to do this. We need to do this. <sighs> right. Alright, 
So, Smuggler Sanctuary. Hello, give an eye of the witness. Lobby. I'm outside, look at this squishy thing. They say these creatures have seen all there is to see and stood in silent judgment for millennia. Just like me, mother-in-law. <laughs> Here, take this. Found it on me travels means not to me, but a crown bearer might have some use for it. Three more to go. Okay, so the witnesses are unique then. If they can only get three more. Huh. And I've got a holy talisman for it. Yeah. Okay. So, yes. So I think, yeah, next time... Oh. Oh, you're a critter. Next time what I can do... Oh, I can make my crabs. Nice. Next time, I'm going to prepare uh, for the one who waits. But we can also do like a run of getting all of the eyes of the witnesses. And then that might be a good place to call streaming for Call to the Lamb until the next update, whenever that may be. Whether it's 2024 or sometime later down the line. But yeah, I'm assuming that that's where the story of Court of the Lamb ends, is after the one who waits. Well, there might be a post-game, I don't know. But as with any kind of roguelike like this, you could just keep going forever and ever and ever. So. so that's what we will do. We will call it there for today. Thanks for watching the stream, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, you can follow us at twitch.tv slash riggyrob, or you can subscribe to us over on youtube.com slash at riggyrob. We do multi-streaming on both Twitch and YouTube. Uh, you can also follow us on Discord, Twitter, TikTok, uh, all those different uh, platforms. And every follow, every like, every subscription uh, really does help us out. So please go ahead and do that. Uh, helps us get seen by more people uh, and just helps us continue doing this, honestly. Um, so yeah. Next time, uh, so we usually stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at around about 9 p.m. UK time. Uh, next time, like I said, I will prepare for The One Who Waits, and we'll do The Eyes of the Witnesses, and then after that, we'll probably move on to a whole brand new game that we've not played for uh, a stream. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.